told that the December 17 referendum has been called off. Some have said that this is an indication that the ruling NPP government is a listening one. Others believe that if the referendum had come off, the NPP government, who was clamoring for a year's vote, may have lost, and that would have been a bloat on their popularity. This morning on Daily Runs, we want to look at what you make of these two discussions, that it was a test of their popularity or not. This is the Daily Runs. Let's keep talking. Actually, Sama, the May referendum, that seeks to have Togo land to be part of Ghana, the Volta region. We had the CPP then threatened for uh, unification. That was a yes. And there was a political party that also rooted for no. So taking stance during referendum is not a bad thing. It is unfortunate that President Adia Oye, Medina Huya, was as a result of what would have come on the 17th, would have made the whole people, if it had been a no, would allow everybody to know that, after all, a group of people are still not happy with the fact that what we do at the political party level, what we do at the, the primary level, people are not happy to bring that to the level of local. It would have given us the opportunity to see what the people are. But President Ossi, there's no broader consultation. A yes or no will tell you what the people felt about the decision. So we don't need broader consultation to reach a yes or no. They are abiding yes, you see, no. I'm exposing the weakness in the previous referendum, my year, no, in the creation of the region. Before I ever created those regions, the catcher abiding said the procedure and the process now they first were created those regions. That was wrong. Because they had the number, the resources, you know, they went ahead, bulldozed their way through, and the result is what we have today. And the, the reality has come to be said. The government, upon listening to all the views, have realized say, indeed, those who are going for the no are of the majority side. Now, the funny aspect is that the government has been able to now we to justify the reason. In the oh yeah, ni address eh or address eh my new who ya. Or see, eh anka the yes vote could have won the election. I say who you were GDS say yes vote ni me to me winia. Why don't you allow the system to continue? Abani aya debia ede ya bona abado de wa ya de. Since anana do dan kwa kufa de yetu abaman 2017 obaya president up to today. It should be a or ba or your interest to the public. Ah, be a to make a be or see a man for contributions. Whatever into what say not so who there. No, I have no essay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The president stand to be corrected. He's not Superman. And to say, or no, I can say who there. My name on a military. A man for a can have a home say, yeah, enough consultation. A man for enter as a papa because as a citizen, no, before you go out to vote yes or no, no, you must understand what you are doing. And to say, I'm going to get a watch. There, young Conan, quite enough consultation. And some brand name by ya. I believe there are a listening government that people need to commend him. I am your part that we did not give Ghanaians the opportunity on the 17th to actually speak in a way. And I've said that there are a good number of people who are of the view that we were going to introduce a situation whereby if Eric Ajay decides to serve his society and says that I want to be an assemblyman, Eric will have to go to a party chairman's house for them to take a form to say that he should pay his dues up to date. Then they bring other four people and force him to go through primaries. And some other people are of the view that though we are aware that political parties are behind these people doing that. Let they have so. let, let this remain so, so that people should not have enemies after a contest at the assembly level. People should not have a situation where we get to primaries and a whole community don't talk to a particular person because they emerge from there. Is that what we want to introduce? Let's not pretend as if political parties are not into, into uh, assembly elections. Let's not pretend. Currently, as I'm talking, before assembly members in Obababa file to become candidates, our way then overcall assembly elections. Political parties elected their candidates. Political parties went promise illegally, underground. So if you know this, it's political. Now, as we, you, we, are, we sit down now, tell me any independent candidate in parliament. The opportunity is there, but we've run things in such a way that it is 
it, it is difficult. And also, when you decide to say you are fish, no head, you know what it means? They ram policies and leave you out. It, it doesn't mean that you cannot be independent candidate. You can be independent candidate. Tell me, when Joe Weiss became independent and went back, he had to turn back again. Why didn't he stay where he was? We are all in this country. We know very well that people smoke weed all around. We, I can show you more than three areas in Takradi here that you go that we, 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 we is being smoked. But that doesn't mean we should legalize it. They do abortion all over the place. That doesn't mean we should legalize it. The government and the party communicators, they lost focus of the main issue. What was the agency say about a referendum? Anka Abaino eh so nya intobwase anabotre. No ye the so-called broader consultation, you know. And sana later no ya ye this referendum because say seventeenth say a company a kodo a kodo referendum ni a jitu misa ampa ya 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 pesa ya tu this year swaba and ya this year ni ebe tu amu swaba twenty twenty three ni ebe sadi ano. So the government in its quest to take all the glory for itself, you know, and then they be because there was statutory body, National Commission for Civic Education. Ah, amu ya education based on this some of this issue. What is a NCC for your education? It is party communicators. We are talking of broader consultation here. We are not talking of government communication and then NCC. Broader and broader consultation of the government has gone so widely to the extent that we invited political parties to Jubilee House I'm to deliberate on this issue. On the, 17th, on the 17th, or on the 18th of April, mm -hmm. 2017, mm -hmm. all the former presidents were invited into Jubilee House and they deliberated on this widely. And they all accepted that in front of the idea you to yes. Now, if government has taken a retrogressive or something that a decision that he felt, let's go back and then do a, a proper consultation. Is this something that we need to criticize the government to the extent that the government is very bad? In parliament, in parliament, we have now members of parliament who spoke on behalf of the government and this in the minority, and they all advocated for yes. And I can mention names. NDC as a party, in principle, AGD say, say yet to about MMBC. But we are saying, say, no, it you should not me. be on partisan line. Honorable Harina Idrisu, the minority leader in parliament, have made this clear in the floor of parliament, saying, the position to support the referendum was not on the call for partisan um, uh, elections, but rather the amendment to propose the process in parliament. It's and that is clear. It's not clear. And then me challenging uh, uh, Fuseni, any MP before, baby Omuko Shia, I was last half hour some year meeting. Those players have CCT camera. They should play it <laughs> so that we all watch. We are talking about political parties taking over candidature of Union Committee and this Assembly election. This is a decision we are going to take after prosecuting the, the 1992 Constitution for some number of years. People know that where we are getting to now, it is not everybody who likes this arrangement, it, this arrangement that almost everything that we are getting to a stage that there should be NDC KK and MPP KK. That we are getting to a stage that before we should come and have primaries, unit committee primaries at the party level, assemblymen primaries at the party level, and all that. Even the parties themselves are not even able to streamline the people who, who they claim belongs to NDC MPP. You see them, they divide among themselves. You tell one person to stand themselves, my book has 5,000. Yes. Meanwhile, his posters are not even up to 20. So that thing that they want to introduce into, into the, uh, uh, the yeah. local government level, whereby Issa Fusheni will be standing against Eric and they tell you that Issa came to MPP before you. In English, we say, if it is not broken, why do you fix it? What actually is the problem with the current, uh, current district assembly election that we are practicing? The government have not been able to come out with one single, let me say, shortfall of the system that we are practicing. So in its quest to change the system, it could have taken a slow process or taken its time to go through the process without this unnecessary rancor about it. Because after all, any in the any about to MMDC for no so about the 2023. Government have almost about three clear years. That is if they are able to renew their mandate. So the government had everything wrong from the onset. With the view said they are going to get a political advantage over the others. No matter so okay after all yeah bamp we amend the constitution you know and uh yeah by yes I Meanwhile by 2009-2010, the NDC administration under Professor Mills set up a committee, a commission headed by Professor Fiajo. A Omudi report by a man clear guidelines saying, "Certain chairs say per se yet to MMDC swaba. 
The process is there. Why is the government not averting its mind to that? Not in China, person, the partisan uh, politics. Basim. The reason is this. Before I end, the reason is this. The MPP knows, say, by hook or crook, 2020, they are going into opposition. And that to <laughs> forestall the government or the winner take all concept of our politics in Ghana, they want to share power by getting their people in the strategic places at the MMDC. So that <laughs> NDC Babema, they will still have control in part of the country. We have done a lot of uh, 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 consultation on it, and we promise in our manifesto that Yaba MMDC is. Assembly elections. That was clearly spelled in yeah, our manifesto. And NDC manifesto, so it was there. It was captured uh, black and white in NDC manifesto. There once were bar, we, we the same thing. But I'm surprised. You see, the reason why I'm not much surprised is that NDC can tend to chameleon within a short period of time.